imagine. You are in the middle of nowhere. Endless deep blue ocean. The closest land is approximately 130 kilometers away. Endless blue water. And there is not any access to the civilization. No internet, phone service, sports channel, or even weather channel. Nothing. The Tubata has your chance to indulge in what you love the most. Dive. 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 Tubata Harif is an UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the Sulu Sea, east of Palavan. The region's remote location, along with challenging access, makes it one of the healthiest and least exploited areas of reef in the world. Throughout the 100,000 hectares of the spectacular reef system, divers lucky enough to visit will discover a wide array of pristine coral gardens mixed with steep walls dropping down into the deep blue. Tubataha Park area is an important fish spawning and breeding site and is significant in terms of global marine life species diversity and richness. I have been diving in many hot spots in the world, like the Red Sea, Rajiampat and Cocos Island, and I have to admit, Tubataha is worth visiting. Tubataha is a different experience. Magnitude of marine life is worth exploring. This is one of the last frontiers, where one can enjoy nature events the way they were unfolding thousands of years ago, unspoiled and untouchable. Coming to the Tubataha requires commitment, but the reward is out of this world. Tubataha Reefs is divided into three main areas, North Atoll, South Atoll, and Jesse Beasley Reef. Each atoll offers numerous scuba dive sites, so the best and only way to explore is via live aboard. At deeper spots on the northern side of North Atoll, numerous shark species can be seen. White tips, black tips, and gray reef sharks are all regular spots silky and guitar sharks and even the odd whale sharks. The southern side of North Atoll is a hotspot for large pelagics such as giant trevally, tuna and barracuda alongside manta rays and turtles. South Atoll is an excellent hammerhead site, while wrecks on both atolls are fantastic for macro species such as pygmy seahorses, nudibranches and tiny crustaceans. The Northwestern Jesse Beasley Reef is another good hammerhead shark location, as well as for other shark species. The fast currents support tremendous branching hard corals and all the associated marine life. Fascinating about the Barracudas was their dance around us, like a giant spiral of striped bodies. I was tempted to touch the Barracudas, but they knew how to keep their distance. Waiting for a big fish takes actual time. In the air time, the ocean is a big, primarily empty water body. Spotting a manta ray requires a lot of luck, and it will only happen sometimes. All one can do is just try and wait.
The sleeping green turtle is adorable, but with sudden movement and lights in the eyes, there is a time to say goodbye to the divers. Getting into the dinghy is not easy, with heavy BCD on the back. Therefore, at the surface, we were removing tanks and BCD to feel free, light and mobile. The rangers are at Tubataha to protect the park from illegal activities, including fishing and collecting other marine life such as top shells. They also do regular patrols around the park, conducting scientific research and monitoring, briefing visitors during the dive season, surface and underwater cleanups, reporting and responding to unusual incidents, like crown of thorn starfish infestations. When we were there, they conducted an extensive survey of the reefs, trying to measure them using not very sophisticated equipment at first glance. But I could be wrong. The reefs were substantially damaged by Typhoon Rai, known in the Philippines as Super Typhoon Odette. A powerful and catastrophic tropical cyclone struck the Philippines in December 2021. The most popular and well-known diving sides are Shark Airport, Malayan Wreck, Sea Fan Alley, Amos Rock, and, of course, the famous washing machine. Shark Airport, for great shark diving, where we can find them swimming around or resting along the reef. Due to strong currents, this dive site is better suited for advanced divers. Malayan Wreck is a perfect place for macro photography. We could get great shots of some new to branches, crabs, and shrimps. Sea Fan Alley. This is the place to see colorful coral reefs. Sea Fan Alley is located in the North Atoll. One can see huge Gargonian sea fans where it is possible to spot pygmy seahorses. Amos Rock or Southwest Rock is a popular dive site on the North Atoll of Tubataha featuring various types of beautiful corals, massive Gargonian fans, large fish, such as snappers and mackerels and groupers, and the fascinating Napoleon wrasses. Different reef sharks are also commonly seen here. Washing machine. This is usually the best place to see manta rays and sharks. The washing machine in the North Atoll is famous for strong currents, attracting all the big stuff. Currents move the vast body of water and move plankton, which fuels the food chain. But the diver should remember, swimming with the current is much more enjoyable than against. My favorite pack of fish is the bump head parrotfish. So ugly looking that actually in this is the beauty. Large, 
around one meter long, constantly crunching on the reef and converting it into fine sand. They are responsible for those fantastic white sandy beaches in tropical areas. Imagine walking on the poop. Big schools of large fish, which contain thousands. Jacks, barracudas, snappers, or bumphead parrotfish, to name a few, are very typical for Tubataha. They are moving slowly most of the time, minding own business. Funny is that not even one sign noticed any aggression from one shoal of fish to another. The big shoals of jacks were fascinating. Silver bullets, moving with grace. I was wondering why they are gathering in such giant shoals. Is that for protection, hunting, or possible spawning? Crocodile fish is so hard to spot. It is the master of camouflage. They are waiting hours with zero movements for prey. All you can see are the mesmerizing crocodile eyes. Clownfish is always fun to watch, and they are always busy defending their castle, trying to scare the opponent. Fascinated and, in my opinion, just beautiful fish is the sweet lips. It reminds me of Angelina Jolie, gracious, beautiful, and that sweet lips. I'm always fascinated by octopus. Smart, unpredictable, and fun to watch. Escape master. Able to fit in a tiny cavity and adjust the colors, patterns, and shape to avoid predators. I wish sometimes I could do the same. On the Tubataha Reef, there are many shoals of fish, each keeping to itself. I love to get close and personal with each of these shoals. This is a lot of fun. No other word can describe that. Resting sharks is a typical picture at Tubataha. Many sharks hunt at night, taking naps during the day. Tubataha is accessible for divers only a few months a year, usually from March until the end of June, because this is an open ocean with no protection and only during those months is safe to venture here. Tubataha is arguably the most biodiverse scuba diving destination in the Philippines and often ranks as the number one diving destination among the best diving places. Thank you.
and the beast in one body. Lionfish looks innocent, but this is one of the most dangerous reef assassins. Looks and appetite are at the same level. End of another fantastic dive. Time to hang out together, even if only for three minutes for the safety stop. A modest ranger station is perched on the southernmost tip of Tubataha, North Atoll, home to a team of 10 to 12 men from the Philippine Navy. Philippine Coast Guard, Municipality of Cagayan Silo, and the TMO. There is also a Mama Ranger. She is the boss, and everybody respects and reports to her. During regular times, the team is stationed for two months at a time. In COVID times, the duration of one stay has been extended up to six months. Hard to imagine such solitude, 130 kilometers from the nearest inhabited islands. Visiting the ranger's station for the sunset was an extraordinary experience. It proved to us how much dedication is needed to protect and serve the Tubataha National Park. Months away from the family, with a small group of people, with a very minimum standard of living and probably for a minimum wage. Respect gentlemen. The Bird Island in Tubataha Reef's Natural Park is home to 100 species of birds and serves as a breeding ground for six seabird species. A recent survey estimates that the population of seabirds has plummeted from 38,000 in 2016 to around half of that in 2019. Rising sea levels have shrunk the islet from 1.5 to just 1.1 hectares. Lack of nesting materials and trees may also have contributed to the decline. I have been diving with a group of divers from Toronto, Canada, and Aquarius Diving Center organized the trip. We have been staying live aboard at the Atlantis Azores with a friendly crew. I must compliment all crew members for doing a fantastic job, above and under the water. We all had a fantastic time aboard this very comfortable boat. Droning at Tubataha requires the permit. It is not very difficult to obtain and it is free, but it is necessary to have one if somebody is trying to use the drone in that area. Each permit is issued by Mama Ranger and is strictly reinforced by each live aboard captain. Days at Tubataha are slow, relaxed and close to nature. This is a perfect time to reflect on our life purpose and plans for the future. I'm thrilled that I could enjoy this natural wonder for a short time. I wish you were here.